We are here with another Teacher of the Year profile, and we're speaking with uh, Matthew Tildy, who's one of two Teachers of the Year from the Twin Rivers Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your school. You'll tell us where you teach and what, what you teach. Well, I teach at uh, Woodridge Elementary School, which is in the Twin Rivers Unified School District. Um, this will be my eighth year teaching with, uh, within the district, and I teach uh, special education. I have a uh, third and fourth grade special day class for, for students with, with mild to moderate disabilities. Ex and for the person at home who doesn't understand what that means, kind of explain not only what mild to moderate means, but also kind of what you face in the classroom every day. Well, basically, um, the students that I work with um, have qualified for special education services, and um, they qualify f under anything from um, specific learning disabilities to, um, to autism to intellectual disabilities. Um, and, and basically, um, it's um, providing uh, services for students to, to um, help them succeed. And uh, the ultimate goal being that uh, you know, they, are, they can become successful and meet grade level standards and um, become successful once again in the, in the general education classroom. Um, but it definitely is a challenge. Um, in my class, I, I uh, have a third and fourth grade class. However, uh, my students aren't necessarily working at those grade levels and so um, each year it is, uh, it is a bit of a challenge in, in being able to meet uh, the individual needs for, for all of my students. And so what is that like? I mean you've got a, a wide range of students with not only uh, different um, challenges that they face but also uh, for you you've got to figure out a way to how to reach each student you know with the curriculum and the information. Absolutely, and, and, and that's, that's definitely uh, one, of the, one of the things that I would say is most, most, most challenging about, about my job. I mean, I, I love my job. I, I uh, wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, however, each year I know that that is going to be one of the, the most significant challenges is, is uh, figuring out how to really connect with each student um, and really trying to figure out how, how, to, how to teach each student in a way that's going to, going to allow them to, to reach their goals. because within special education, each student um, is working on their individual education goals, um, along with working towards making progress towards grade level standards. And so when you have um, a classroom of students with such uh, diverse needs and abilities, um, you, you, really, you, you really need to be creative in finding out the best ways to, eat, to, to reach each student. And I've, I've been very fortunate uh, to, to work uh, in the classroom that I do with, I have an exceptional paraeducator that I work with, uh, Allison Massey, and she is just a phenomenal person to work with, and um, we have a great team. So how did you uh, get into the special education business? Is it something that you always wanted to do, or you just kind of had, had some kind of an epiphany that you decided that? I, I decided to go into teaching um, not, I, I didn't make that decision until I was an uh, undergraduate um, at UC Davis. and. Um, I just happened to come across a, a summer job one summer working as, a, as an aide for kids with disabilities at summer camps. And uh, it was part of what's called the Alternative Recreation Program through the City of Davis. And um, I, worked in a, I worked in the program and I worked with the kids and the teens and the adults with disabilities, but I really found that my passion was working with kids with disabilities. And uh, you know, each summer that I worked with the kids, you know, I, I, uh, I, I, was, I was able to to help them really get a good, uh, fun summer camp experience. Mm -hmm. And um, I really felt that I could have a, uh, a, a bigger impact, far-reaching uh, impact on, on, on the lives of, of, of these kids um, by going into education. Um, and, and I just felt that I was able to create a, a special bond with each of the kids that I worked with. So I definitely felt that, that uh, my calling um, was to work with students with disabilities. And so you, when you had that moment and you realized that, uh, it, it must be real gratifying now to be in that profession and, and see progress within a student. I mean, because obviously you have some students with extreme challenges. Absolutely. Uh, it, it is definitely a very rewarding uh, uh, experience w when you see students. Um, in, in my own experience, I have students who often come to me with um, you know, generally negative attitudes towards school. They've been in general education setting and they've often faced setbacks and frustrations towards school, which kind of shapes their, their, their attitude. And um, it's very re rewarding for me to see that shift, not just in their, their, their academic abilities, but in their, their self-esteem, their, uh, their, uh, 
they, they, they see that they can be successful in school and uh, just to know that, that I'm, I'm, I'm helping give them the tools that they need is uh, very, very rewarding. Plus when you're dealing with, with special needs students you also are dealing closely with their families. Absolutely. Tell me about how important that connection is. It's, it's huge. It's very important. Uh, I mean, you know, as, as what, what I try to tell parents is that, you know, as, as, as well as I might know your student and uh, as well as I'm going to get to know your student throughout the year, there's nobody that's more an expert on your child than you. You, are, you, are, you as the parent are the expert. And so, um, you know, really it's, it's, it's all about uh, creating a, 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 a close-knit relationship. Um, really keeping open lines of communication between school and home and uh, um, w when, you, when you have that, that team atmosphere between home and school, I mean it's, it's a recipe for success. So how long have you been a teacher now? This will be my eighth year. Okay. So in that amount of time, how have you seen things change for you in the classroom uh, with the students you work with and, and any new needs that you find or are you, or are you finding that with special education, there might be more students now being placed in there because now they're being diagnosed or, or you know, put in that category. I think one of the one of the things that I'm seeing um, just you know in my eight years is um, uh, there 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 seems to be more students um, coming to my class um, with uh, uh, qualifying under autism, and um, I know that's a, a, a very uh, prevalent um, uh, in, in in a lot of areas. And um, so that's one of the shifts I've seen in just in um, the types of, uh, of disabilities that my students have. Um, um, you know, starting out in, in teaching eight years ago, I mean, it's when you first get into teaching, it's, it's, you're, just, you're just trying to, uh, to stay afloat, if you will. And uh, um, so each year has been, it's been a, a learning experience for me. And um, each year I, I, I get a few more uh, tools in my tool bag to use and um, um, strategies to use. And uh, I know that. It, you know, some things that, that worked in the past won't work uh, this time around, but it's, uh, it's all about uh, continuing to grow and, uh, and learn as an educator. And it must mean a lot to you when you finally reach or able to reach that student who's hard to reach. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So uh, if you were to talk to somebody who was considering teaching as a profession, especially uh, kids with special needs, you know, what would you say to them as maybe a sales pitch? You know, I would say that uh, teaching is, uh, is, is, is a job like like no other. There's um, the, the, the work that we do, the quality of work that we do as teachers is, is directly impacting the lives of the students that we teach. Um, so in teaching, I mean, you really are driven to be your best because, um, like I said, what you do is, has a direct impact on, on lives. So um, teaching, uh, it's certainly one of the most challenging uh, jobs that you will ever do, um, but it's also uh, one of the most rewarding. So for anybody considering um, entering the teaching field. Um, I, I mean, it's not for everybody, but um, I would certainly say that if you, if you feel like uh, that you are being called to that, to that profession, um, it uh, requires a big commitment, but uh, definitely rewarding. Have you found, obviously, that some days, you know, when you're dealing with, with uh, special needs kids, some days you probably come, go home and just kind of bang your head off the wall thinking, it just didn't work today. Then the next day, it's a complete success. There, there are certain days where you, uh, you go into the classroom, you have done all your homework, you have prepared, you, ha you think you have, um, you have found the answer, and uh, it just uh, does not go anywhere near what you, how you thought it was going to go. And that can certainly be frustrating um, and at times disheartening. Um, but again, it's all a learning experience. And uh, it, rather than focus on, on, on the frustrations, uh, uh, I find it best to um, take it as, uh, as, a, as a learning experience and uh, know that what didn't work this time you know, it d d doesn't mean to get rid of it, it might work another time, but uh, just um, always be committed when you're committed to giving your best, you're, you're going to find something that works. So what does it mean to be a Teacher of the Year? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite an honor. Um, it's exciting. It's quite an honor. A very humbling experience. I, 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 Teaching in Twin Rivers, I'm a part of a fairly large district, one of the one of the larger districts in, in the Sacramento area, and um, I know that our district is filled with teachers who do uh, doing extraordinary things with their students every day. So just to be part of that community and to be recognized uh, by them as Teacher of the Year, it's uh, very humbling, and um, I'm very honored.
Well, congratulations to you. We appreciate you. your time. We've been speaking with Matthew Tildy, who is one of two teachers of the year from the uh, Twin Rivers Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.